Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have one that was sent to me by my good buddy Jonathan from the Garden State of New Jersey. This is from the Jug Handle Brewing Company. I know you can't see it there very well. I apologize. They're out of Tinton Falls, New Jersey, no doubt about it. And this is their 4057. Uh, can we get it up there? Yeah, 4057. Described as a double IPA that checks in at 8.2% alcohol by volume. I thought at first this was a uh, code that I could read on here, a Julian date code, but I can't decipher it. Um, <laughs> I know that Jonathan wouldn't send me old beer, so I know it's uh, it's been brewed quite recently, but I just can't decipher that date on there. I don't know what it says. I wish that brewers would just put a simple date on there that we could all read. This is a Imperial Pint Glass. It's 20 ounces, and this is a 16-ounce can, so let's see what we have here. Oh, it's a very hazy color, I can tell you that. New England-style IPA, no doubt. Ooh, man, I can smell something right there. Oh, wow. That's got some killer hop in it, whatever is whatever's in there. I went to the website, didn't see anything on there about this beer. I even tried Beer Advocate <laughs> and Rate Beer. <laughs> you know I'm desperate when I look at those websites. It's not that they have false information on there. It's just that you don't know who is writing that information. You have no clue. Yeah, it could be a, a, a very good person who knows quite a bit about beer, or it could be <laughs> shenanigans. Who knows? Uh, that poured out a very hazy, light golden color. And I'm not quite sure what to say about this color that's in the glass. It is super, super hazy beer. There's, there's no uh, doubt about that. It's got a nice bright white uh, foam on it, though. It looks like the foam is pretty solid. That head looks pretty solid. I get some powerful hops in there. Maybe a little bit of lupulin in there. I tell you, no doubt. Mm, very fruity, too. I get some uh, grapefruit in there and some apricot. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, could be way off base, but that's what my nostrils tell me. Hey, I want to thank Jonathan again for sending this beer. I want to thank the Brewers there at Jug Handle. And cheers to everybody at home. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I don't pick up any of the flavors I just experienced in the aroma. This has some serious pine resin to it baby oh my god and that that uh that finish is super dry and bitter oh man is that good i think this is the one that uh, jonathan was raving about kept asking me if i had tried it yet well i tried it now that's a keeper that's definitely a keeper the carbonation on this is very medium it's not not uh, not highly carbonated at all, man. But that uh, that mouthfeel, it's a full-bodied mouthfeel. A little bit on the creamy side too. This this head is super rocky. I know that this camera dabs, does absolutely no justice to to what I'm looking at, but that head is uh, indicates a well-crafted beer to me. Man. Got a little bit of sweetness in there from something. I, I would say I'm still going to go with that apricot. I, I it's, That's what I'm detecting in there, that apricot. The grapefruit was a little strong on the nose, but I'm not picking that up in the flavor at all, and that's good because I don't like IPAs with a lot of grapefruit. You have to remember, this is a double IPA, 
which means it's over 8%. And this one's 8.2%. Ooh, wee, I don't get that alcohol, which makes this a super dangerous beer. <laughs> Mmm, that is really a tasty beer. I think this is uh, one of their specialty beers. Uh, let's see if I can get that glare off there. Can I put it on this side? Does it look any better? Yeah, you can see it a little bit better. The jug handle, 4057. Yeah, it's, it's uh, one of their uh, limited releases. Man, that should be one of their flagship beers. Ooh, is that good? Man, I'm telling you. Now, I sat this out on the counter for almost a half an hour, and it's still got a pretty good chill on it. I'm going to have to look at the temp on my refrigerator because I usually keep it about 37, 38 degrees. Could have gone down a little bit. you got to watch those refrigerators, man, especially if you've got a few gears on them. I'm going to sit here and cherish this beer. I really am. I'm going to try to hang on to it for a while. Oh, man, this is good. Thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate this beer, brother. Hey, I tell you, life is short. you got to be happy, and that includes drinking great craft beers like this one right here from Jug Handle out of New Jersey. Mm. Until we meet next time, my friends. Cheers. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway, they have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club. So I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn 
Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mmm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.